so I just put an announcement out about this. So anybody who's not the meeting should be uh, well aware of what's going on. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Apparently, people have been prank calling our 911 line. Uh, so the uh, the folks that operate the switchboard, they updated the firmware last night. Uh, and with command approval, we can now ban people from dialing 911 and 311. Okay, can we preemptively ban some people? No, we can't. No, we cannot preemptively ban people. Uh, it's going to be used in very. It's going to be used in very limited circumstances where people are dialing non-emergencies and they refuse to stop after being directed to do so. Uh, so so like basically, read. yeah, kind of like read. Dundee but, so why don't we we all agree? So why don't we just be proactive with our policing and just do it? Uh, because this would also essentially uh, stop them from receiving, you know, emergency medical services in the event that they need them. So okay, we're gonna so... we're gonna wait until the time, such a time as they become an offender. Plus, this uh, uh, the the way that this nine one one ban traces it only lasts throughout the storm. So, all right, hear me out. We just get rid of Reed, and natural selection takes over. He did it to himself, first of all, by spamming us with weird erotica, right? And now he's not going to get medical attention, and he just dies in a road. And then it's like he, a cockroach. He won't it's die. It's like a win-win. Yeah. I mean, as nice of an idea as that is, we're, we're not going to we're not going to create a pre-ban list for 911. We're going to we're going to roll it out on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. Same thing for Irwin Dundee, who also 911s us, uh, calling us like pussies after we lose him in a chase and stuff like that. Issue the individuals one warning, then ask a member of command, and if a command, member of command agrees, we'll uh, we'll get him kicked off of there. Uh, the primary purpose of this is to stop people from flooding our 911 system. I understand we might have had some problems with that recently. Uh, so yeah, now we can now we can remedy that. Does that work for so if someone is spamming 311? Because I know when Dundee's stuff was locked down, he was just like constantly on 311. Yes. Yes, so this, do we uh, do 911 ban and it'll ban them from both? Or can we do 311 ban and it'll just ban them from 311? Uh, 911 operates for okay. both 911 and 311 okay. frequencies. All right. Okay. Does the person who gets um, like blocked out, do they receive a notification? Uh, we're going to be... We're going to be doing some science on that. I, uh, I did that. I, I, okay. I could actually okay. answer okay. that. So, uh, yeah, just confirm you're, you're going to be 911 banning or unbanning their PayPal. They will not receive a notification that that has happened to them. However, if they try to use either 311 or 911 while that ban is in place, they will uh, basically get a, a busy tone. They, they will know that they are not able to connect at this time. However, uh, once you unban them then they will just be able to resume those 911s and 311s like it never happened or when the weather rolls through what the fuck is the raccoon so it's a comp it's a furry all right any other questions on this new tool who is it i don't know and that's not a